man. Uh, that that is the wildest shit I have ever seen. What? That is, I don't know what's what's even like worse, like the the tutorial with the notepad. Uh, or for for or, context, <laughs> or the fucking news scroll review on the OST. <laughs> <laughs> so, peek behind the curtain. Um, whenever we uh, whenever we play music, I just find it on YouTube because I'm a lazy bitch yeah. and I literally play it into the recording. <laughs> Um, and this one had come from a top 100 best Nintendo 64 songs. Yeah. Um, but it was made way back in like Windows with Windows Movie Maker like 2003 or something. Yeah. And so the little red scrolling bar thing you're supposed to use for like 10 words at most was a full length review this of Castlevania 64. Full blown paragraph in the motherfucker. Yeah. Like we were supposed to read that whole shit. I yeah. So. Honestly, I'm pretty I'm pretty inspired. I think I'm going to pick up a copy of Windows Movie Maker. I think I, I we think. found our niche content. Yeah, I think that's I think exactly what we need to do. I think now that the best friends have disbanded, we're going to steal from this guy. <laughs> this guy is going to be where all of our content comes from. <laughs> Yo, shout out to uh, whatever. It's gone now. Top 100 and the, Top 100 whatever. And 64 songs. So, man, we, we made it past 20. We're now in season two. We're now in. in so in is, is that what we're gonna call it? We're gonna second, call it second core. We're gonna <laughs> nap, nap core. <laughs> oh man! So is that what we're gonna call it? We're gonna call that the reason it took us close to oh, basically two months is a uh, 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 season hiatus. Yeah, it was. It was on a, a mid-season, a mid-season hiatus. hiatus. Yeah, that is the dumbest shit to me. Like, just finished it. Just yeah. Do your, just do your job. Do Why you do you get a break? Fucking, yeah. What do you mean? I gotta wait six months, a whole six fucking months, just so your dumb asses can run Dude, around. Your stupid show can just have more cliffhangers. Yeah, fuck those guys. You guys have a podcast now. Yeah, welcome aboard. This is why I don't read the chat because y'all are jerks. <laughs> <laughs> They're the biggest jerks. And if you want to be a jerk, live you can donate to my Patreon. Donate to our Patreon this that is, we still don't have. Scallop Brill Entertainment has a Patreon. You can tip us on out. coffee. You can. Uh, do you have a coffee? No. We could we could have coffees. We could. We I could go for a coffee right now. Yeah, I'm a little tired. Well, we're, we're sleepy boys. Yeah, let's oh. uh, let's get let's get into it. Yeah, but so, we're not though. So here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Uh, Max has actually uh, made a very fantastic point in that in the span of time it took to get from here to there. Uh, which was episode 20 to 21, yeah. there have been a deluge of fucking just video game releases that all need talking about. Yeah. And both of us have played our fair share of video games. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do everything in reverse. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going gonna... to we're gonna present you the news, the most recent news first, mm-hmm. as far as we can tell. Yeah. And then we're going to move on. Yeah. One of the news stories is obviously going to have... Uh, you know, it happened to do with a game that I played yeah. personally that you got a, a maybe a, what, 30 minutes of hands-on time with during the private. I wouldn't count beta. it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't count it. I wouldn't count it. Um, um, yeah, so that's it. We we don't want to talk your ear off about stories you heard about a month ago. Yeah. That's that's really all So we're just kind of scrolling past the, uh, yo, shout out to Destructoids for still being one of the uh, best news outlets for this kind of stuff. Yeah, and the one for, thing I, for stealing news for us. Stealing them. news for us. You know, I, okay, so the question is at this point, who is the first source? Like, really? Because when Jesus. we talk about... <laughs> Jesus is always number one. Jesus you is should, the man you always who put wore him the first. cross, yeah. the sin of all gamers. Yeah, his resume must look really good. <laughs> you think Jesus would get a triple S rank really easily in DMC5? No, because he's, he's a pacifist, so no, he'd probably uh, be true. bad. At D- he'd probably, Jesus sucks at Devil May Cry. Jesus just, oh, I wasn't going to say sucks in general, but like... <laughs> Wow, hard call out. Uh, more like, What's you know, the at, first story at video we're games. About? Nah, He's a support know. character, right? No, no, He can maybe play V. Yeah. Oof. I still have want to. I still want to play him. Hey, so uh, here's a couple. Here's those quick little stories about two games that are still very far away, according to our sources, which is Destructoid. Cyberpunk 2077 is still a long ways away. They are indeed going to be at E3. 
and way more people are dropping out of E3. EA has actually just announced that they're dropping out. There's even rumors that Bethesda might drop out of uh, E3 this year. E3 2019 might just be really bad, really boring, or Microsoft might once again just come and steal the show. Well, if there's uh, no one else to compete with. Yeah. So it kind of, at this point, what it sounds like to me is that it really, it, it 2020 is going to be the year we get the PS5 and the new Xbox and all that stuff. Now, I don't know how I feel about that considering that we're both intermediary uh, console adopters, as it were. See, but. You, see your predict- I, I disagree with your prediction. I don't think 2020 is going to be the year we get all the big E3 announcements. I think 2020 is the year there is no E3. Really? I think everyone just backs out. Everyone just goes home. Nintendo doesn't... They have a direct. They don't need to be there. Right. You don't need to let people play it on the show floor. You just release the demo on the same day. PlayStation is... Whatever the fuck they're doing. I have yeah. no idea. They're weird art house projects. It's literally... It would just be Microsoft there. Like, hey guys! We took the discs away! No more discs! We thought we figured you forgot that that was originally our push. The X-Bone... Sad. The X bone dick less. Bone sad. I don't know. <laughs> like it once again. I'll buy it. A, I'll buy a console that's just called Bone Sad. Bone sad. <laughs> once again, Microsoft constantly shit on this entire generation. It shouldn't have been bad. Yeah. Well, you know that's what happens when you get that one guy. It goes. It goes. Don't cancel Scalebound. Liter. Oof. Which also. Leads into another segue no, for doesn't. a news story that may potentially be a thing. It's not. That's not. That shit's not happening. What do you mean? There's no way that's happening. How? Okay. There have been. There's. There have been. In this year of years, there, where we have thought, thought, thought like that's no way. There's. That's not gonna happen. The game didn't look good enough to save. I don't know about that. There have been rumblings that that a, a, a game that was long thought dead could be seeing a revival on the Nintendo Switch, and it will not be scale-bound. It will not. <sighs> okay, so what are your predictions, then? For that? I don't yeah. fucking know. It's not, I know it's not scale-bound. What? Like, okay, well, even what Nintendo property could... I, I don't think it's a Nintendo property necessarily. I all I just think it's not scale bound. <laughs> I think that that prediction is silly. As silly as being able to play Phoenix Wright on the Xbox now. No, way sillier than that. Really, one hundred percent. Why? Because scale bound looked too big for the Xbox at the time. Well. I don't see that game making the transition to Switch at all. You don't think it's gonna scale down at all, or no? No. Because when you look at all the like the development details of that game, it was a fucking train wreck. Yeah, but it was a train wreck because of Microsoft's involvement, which once again is is literally the the sh- the case with most Microsoft property. Like yeah. l- that's that's why um, they lost the Resident Evil Four license. Yeah. That's why they you know lost a considerable amount of other deals with. Uh, I mean, they're the ones who killed. Um, God, there was a, a, a level five studios is working on an MMO. I think around the same time that uh, PSO was being made for the Dreamcast, yeah. True Fantasy Online, I think it was called, and that got fucking shit canned too. So like, Microsoft is just so good at treating the Japanese like utter garbage. Mm-hmm. Like it is insane. They have it to a fine art where they haven't left the fifties, but everyone else has. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but the other reason is like I don't. Like, Platinum doesn't need to work on another game right now. They're yeah. They're working on Astral Chain, Bayonetta 3. Which was announced. They finished up their work. kind on, of saw. They finished up on Grand Blue. Yeah. Uh, there's that other game that they're working on. Um, oh, the one that, I mean, kind of. The night thing. I don't know. Which we have literally no information about. They just started stopped work on um, the Grand Blue game. Was it Grand Blue, I think it was called? Yeah. RE Fantasy? That was the second one. Re Fantasy. Oh, that's okay. Relink? Relink. Oh, you, you just said the second mm-hmm. one? Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. It's wow. okay. I, I was reading You're chat. probably listening to the... Stop reading the... No, 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 don't do it! Don't do it! YouTube done. doesn't get to comment. They don't get to comment. Wow. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, man. Um... <laughs> Uh, oh, my babies are gone. That's fine. That's they're dead in the. Guess what? They didn't support my uh, like 
your what else is think there? about it your coffee oh, you don't have one your yeah. patreon we don't have one just, they show up they know what my email is just just direct send that fucking money <laughs> Um, PayPal at my double X. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, Platinum doesn't need to work on anything else right now. We haven't <sighs> seen a single thing of Bayonetta at all. At all. Which makes me wonder, like, what exactly, I mean, I... We're going to get a trailer, know. a release date, and it's going to be, like, a couple months later. I do not know how people are, are seeing DMC5. And are still acting like they're holding out for Bayonetta three, like whatever Bayonetta three is going to do, it's going to blow complete like BMC five completely out of the water, which I just I highly disagree with. Yeah, and you... I mean after playing two, I it, it almost felt like they had run out of all ideas at two. Well, the there were some is, very cool sections there, but things like Bayonetta one was like, I won't say perfect because I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of Bayonetta combat actually. Yeah. Um. But in terms of set pieces and stuff like that, Bayonetta pretty much got everything. Yeah. The only thing it didn't get was the Bayonetta 2 of Jean and, and Bayonetta fighting on fighter jets that are, like, above each other, like, back to back. <laughs> Which is so fucking, yeah, playing Ace Combat 7 before that shit even came yeah. out. Listen. Uh, it's I, afterburner. The, the platinum, the platinum, oof, that's a call out. A, lo- no, a, a callback. Yeah, no, they literally play afterburner music. Do they? 100%. Oh man, I haven't. In played Bayonetta that. one, it's when you're on the the missile, I believe. No, no, it's when you're in, in on the bike. God bless Platinum. But you know what? I mean, I think Platinum has this this thing where, like, during the the last uh, generation, yeah, they didn't know if they were ever going to be successful, mm-hmm. so they kind of just threw all of their like everything. And the fucking kitchen sink into most video games that they released. Yeah. So I'm starting to kind of like I look at like uh, Astral Chain and I'm like that is literally the most unique thing that Platinum has come out with in a while, because every other Platinum game that like has been action game I have not really been super psyched about. Yeah. Or, especially or that. Like a, or it's like a fucking license game or anything like that. Especially uh, that that one Nair. Not well. I mean. Yeah. I don't know. I I almost entirely own near. I almost the only thing that they did was gameplay. <laughs> I almost in the entirely own near's like success to fucking Yoko and, yeah. and that guy oh, Tora, who's now working on uh, Astral Chain. Yeah. I think the biggest issue is um, that we're kind of like discovering with Japanese games is that a lot of the old heads and the old guard are sort of keeping games back and a lot of the new guys are the ones who are bringing these solid really yeah. fantastic ideas to the surface and I, I absolutely think that that needs to keep happening but I just I, I mean think about it like for me I there's no other Platinum game that came out before Nier that I can think off the top of my head that I, that's not Bayonetta 2 that I can go okay Transformers Devastation which is bad it's not bad it's not great it's not great I didn't like it at all oh so it's bad for me it's- I guess that's fair. <laughs> I, guess, I guess when you put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so, no, Scalebound's not coming out on the Switch, and no games are coming to E3 in 2020. <laughs> um, yeah. It'll well, just be Microsoft sitting alone in a room. So our – which I don't necessarily think is a bad prediction now that I think about it, because I think we spoke about this when we first heard about the uh, Sony just leaving the conference in the first yeah. place. And it makes more and more sense for people to just kind of, like – Split off. Do your do your own thing whenever you want to do it. Especially so that I don't have to take a week off of work. Especially considering how absolutely restrictive that E3 has been in the past. And expensive. Yeah. Just it just utter like whatever they've been doing in terms of like making the showcase uh, floors just way more expensive to go to. I, I mean, we are very much running with the real possibility that I, now that I think about it that E3 may just dissipate. Like entirely within the next couple of years. Definitely. I don't. I don't predict it's 2020. I think in the next 10 years we may not hear about E3 anymore. I give it five. I give it five at most. All right. I bet five money. Five. You still owe me two. I do still owe you two. Um. Yeah. No. Nintendo re- figured it out. It's like, nah, dude. Just buy a camcorder. Stand in front of a white wall. Devolver got it. Nintendo got it. Yeah. EA is now following. Devolver the puts frame. a bit more effort into it, but their conferences is shit posts. So, 
Yeah, and they do, and <laughs> I've always appreciated how they've approached E3, wherein they, they have the literal parking lot yeah. showcase, which is hilarious and totally I'm on board with every single time. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just, you know, after what Sony did last year and how haphazard and, like, all over the place their conference the Weird-ass art house thing was. Yeah, like, moving that the That they audience, gave up. They yeah. only did it for the first game. For one game and moving the audience from, like, one locale to the next and kind of throwing us off in every regard. And and, and it almost felt like they were trying to, to kind of one-up the sort of showmanship that just happened with the crazy announcements. Like, no matter what happens, Sony will never beat... No one will ever beat the Year of Dreams, wherein, like, FF7, Shenmue 3, and all that shit just got announced. Yeah. And, like, you know, there's no but way... But see, I all... That year... That... That year means less to me because, like, <laughs> last year, we got Devil May Cry 5 announced, Resident Evil 2 announced, and then they came out! And then we played them! Well, Resident Evil, <laughs> Resident Evil 2 is a little different. Resident Evil got announced back in 2015. But we saw it. Yeah, we saw it. We we saw it. We got a release date. It was real. Yeah. And then we played it with yeah. our hands. DMC5 is the one I would say was was absolutely, like, everyone was kind of on, like, it was on the tip of their tongue. But, like, yeah. finally seeing that fucking, that, that, that mix-up of, oh, it's not... DMC two, it's just real looking Nero. Devil may cry, yeah. Devil may cry. Kind of weird to think that like it's March eighth already. Yeah. Like where the fuck did all that time go, dude? I know it's been <laughs> rough. Oh man. Not in a podcast. That's where. Or or a channel. Yeah, or channel. That's not true. I made one. We got the one. I got we the did one. it. Yeah. It we like... got our one for the year, and it was in January Hell again. Hell yeah. Did it. We know. Yes? Yeah. Was no, it January? February. Oh, fuck. Last month. So next year it'll be this mo- it'll be March. Yeah. Yeah, a year and a month. Year and a month that every single fair. time, guys. Um so there's that. Um let's just let's just quickly talk about Anthem. If you own a PS4, just don't buy it. It's okay. gonna break it's gonna break your console. Don't No, I have an Anthem block. Oh, I get a block. Oh, that's right. I forgot we even yeah. talked about that. Oh. Yeah, anthems. We it'll it'll come. Okay. God damn it. Okay, so we'll, we'll get there. We'll hold on, Anthem. Iron then. Man on fucking blast. Dark, Dark Void. Now is your time. Now is your. There time is to no come time back. like the present. Cap gods are back. <laughs> Cap. Oh, golden year for Capcom. <laughs> we got Dark Void. <laughs> we got Red Earth two. Hey, so games are getting way... Oh, the the second game, by the way, before I even go into this one, the second game is Death Stranding, which is oh, apparently right. slightly behind schedule, which j- is just as vague, if not more, than the entire description of the game. We've gotten way more information, actual information out of the leaked or, or like the PS4 page where we know that the Death yeah. Stranding is the cataclysmic event. Yeah. Like, that's what it's called, like, what brought the world to that point. That's yeah. called a Death Stranding. That's all we know. Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> I officially don't care about that game until it's in my console. I don't care about it. I, I Because <laughs> a couple months ago, they were saying, wow, Death Stranding's, like, really coming along. Like, they're making good progress. And now it's, like, it's taking a little long. It's behind schedule. It's, like, I don't, <laughs> I still don't fucking know what it is. I think what I think what's going on right now is he's been posting a lot of pictures of the Japanese voiceover section uh, sessions, and I I genuinely believe <clears throat> there are some things that are not translating very well. I just I think there are some concepts, which is very strange to me that the game is is running behind, but like he has consistently only been showing Japanese voiceover footage, like or not footage, but like most of everything that everybody's been showing has been just them in Japan finishing the game. Essentially, yeah, uh, and the, and he has shown the game to several people at this point. Yeah, uh, other developers, other directors. The director who's going to be working on the Metal Gear Solid movie said the shit was fucking wild. Yeah. Like, but do you know who he didn't show the game to? Us, me, the guy me. who's going to pay for it. Yeah. So, yeah, Kojima's a hack. You guys were right. <sighs> I don't. That's not. I'm not. Metal Gear to... Solid Three. He got one. Good job. Okay, yeah, but the timeline is not 
literally, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Like, Koji look, Pro, more like Koji Bro. Hurry the fuck up. I, we have to go back and we have to like see when, like, what was the Phantom Pain thing like? Because, I, but because guess what? The, the Metal Gear Solid Five wasn't even announced as MGS Five, motherfucker. Like it wasn't. That wasn't what it was. I forget what it was called. It was like, Moby, Moby Dick yeah, Games, and it was just called the Phantom Pain. Yeah. We didn't know what the fuck it was until like a year and a half later. So you know what? As long, think at least we fucking know what the game kind of is, and we. He's given a lot of information in interviews. Like it is an open world action game that has oh, like cooperative online elements. Nah, it's gonna be a turn based tactical strategy game. It's gonna take place in the past. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna have dinosaurs. They did announce a mobile game for it. Well, not announced. They trademarked uh, Mobile Strand. I'm not even kidding you. They trademarked some other stuff too. Yeah. So that may may be playing into why it's being delayed. Because I bet you 10 to 1, there's some stupid fucking... They're going back to 2014 and trying to do that second screen bullshit again and make it work. Remember that? Remember that fucking era of, of video game development? Connect your, your Microsoft Surface to your Xbox One. So hey, you know in Watch Dogs how you can fight other people on the iPad? <laughs> or in Division 1, how you can pilot a drone on the iPad? No. That they completely took out and didn't put in until game two anyway. I'm trying to remember a single time where that worked. And the only one I can think of is there's this VR game where it's like a roguelike. Where the person in VR has to navigate like a like a spaceship. And it's like a horror kind of game. Yeah. But somebody else with the iPad can have like schematics of the, the map. And they can like open doors and stuff. Apparently that works. That's actually Apparently that's fantastic. the only time that has ever fucking worked ever. That actually sounds really fantastic. I hear it's fun. I really want to try it. I, want to, I don't know what that game is, but I really want to try it. Um, so yeah, Death Stranding. It's more like... Not happening. More like, <laughs> that was good. That's the, that's the name of the podcast right there. <laughs> we found it. Uh, so anyways, like I was trying to say before, games are getting way too big and it's really aggravating. Um, so the Division 2 is going to be launching next week for those of you. It's going to be launching on Tuesday for everybody who bought the Gold Edition because that's what games are now. We just buy – you just pay buy $30 more early. to buy it early. Yeah. You are literally paying $10 per day. <laughs> popularized by Mega AAA Blockbuster Jump Force. Oh, fuck. $100 to play it early. Jesus uh, Christ, dude. Like, it, you know, like I get the idea of like – Maybe to, I, the, when they were doing the tent, like the seventy dollar, like gold, like premium editions, and it's like a day before. Yeah, I'm fine. I didn't know that. It, I didn't know it was ten dollars additional per day. That's what. That's what the scheme is. So you could, if you paid enough, you could potentially play the game before it was made. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. You know, what would be crazy is if they allowed you to do then that. Then it becomes the multiplication while it was being made, and they called it like um, private. Access or er, early access, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what if they did that? That'd be cool. That sounds fucking stupid, and like it wouldn't work, dude. No, I'm. I promise you, it's it's gonna be a burgeoning industry, and it's totally not gonna completely ruin the concept of uh, finished games at all. This is a very vindictive podcast already, off the bat. I'm very yeah. We're coming out for everybody. Kojima, you're done. E3, you're done. Early access, the concept of doing something earlier than everybody else done fuck it time over <laughs> you it's, can't you can no longer sacrifice anything to have more time on the clock uh, it is done no because dmc5 has arrived uh, which we will get to uh yeah but uh for whatever reason the division 2 is now fucking 94 gigs on the ps4 nobody knows why it's included poor the audio compression uh well the it's ps the old. pc and the xbox one have a 50 it all together is 52 gigabytes which is traditionally what most big games like that are dramatically poor audio compression <laughs> super for the poor PS4. audio like super Awful Super Sam. Anytime a game is like stupidly large, like way larger than it has any right to be, I always assume it's audio compression. Like Blaze Blue um, uh, Cross Tag Battle on PC is 50 gigs. That game has no fucking business. Audio. 50 gigs. Because the audio is not compressed properly. Oh my god. Dragon Ball Fighters is 6 gigs. 
I, I, I honestly don't know why the fuck that, I mean, I, it, it's, yeah. it's getting to a point where like, I mean, we've talked about fallout 76 with literally 50 gigabyte patches yeah. almost every single fucking week. At, Did at you reinstall point. the game every time. Yeah. Uh, and then I uh, just recently reinstalled fucking Destiny 2 uh, as a joke. That is 77 gigabytes right now. And I'm like, F- Jesus, fuck. I mean, it's only been two years. I mean, they keep adding expansions, so that makes a little more sense. A little like... more sense. Just a tad bit more. Yeah. But, like, I'm starting to get to a point where, like, it's starting to get to a point where, like, a terabyte is no longer fucking acceptable. Well, no, I have two terabytes. I don't know. I only so... have the one. I'm making it work, but not well. Yeah. Here, here's one whole tenth of your fucking hard drive gone, and it's a game. That's it. I'm gonna have to uninstall the Modern Warfare remaster. God, can you imagine? Damn. Oh man. Um. How? Like, I'm sorry. I, I need a comment. Mo- the Modern Warfare remaster is is free on PlayStation Plus this month, oh. and so I downloaded it because like I I didn't. I don't. Did Modern Warfare come out before World at War or after? Um, it's Call of Duty Four. So World at War is Call of Duty came Five. Out, yeah, three came out before, and then four came out, and then World at War came out. Yeah, and four is Modern Warfare, right? Yeah. Okay. So I started at World at War. So I never played Modern Warfare, so I'm like, okay, I'm interested. I'll check this out. I downloaded it. Why do I still need to buy the map pack for that game? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Why did? Why do I gotta do that? Yeah, the remaster is a fucking sham. Uh, it's stupid. I was I was the impression that we didn't get a fucking add multiplayer. Did they have multiplayer in the in the? Yeah, download? it gave me the option to pick single player multiplayer to like download first. Okay, that's good because I we there was a, a lot of going around where they were just gonna offer the single player for free, which is exactly what Activision would do. Yeah, no, no, it's 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 everything. Which, by the way, we should bring up at some point too. Oh yeah. I know that's a, like that's a topic that like, happened kind of near the beginning of the year and kind of coincides with something we did talk about, which was the Bungie uh, split. Mm-hmm. Uh, but still, I mean, yeah, we're between the stories. Let's go for it. Uh, yeah, Activision was like, "Hey, um, goodbye. Get out. Get out. Take your things. Don't let the fucking door hit your ass on the way out, kiddos." They fired. It's like a ridiculous amount of people. It's mm-hmm. like t- le- less than. 20%, but that's still like, like it pretty sizable fucking chunk. I don't remember the exact number. It's, they fired about 10% of their employees, which 10% of anything really in the grand scheme of things is yeah. like nowadays is a lot. Yeah. That's a, I think they, like the math was like eight or 900 employees just without a job. Mm-hmm. And they talked about how it's, oh, it's on a developer side. It's no big deal. Da, 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 da. But there have been horror stories coming out of almost every other Activision the developer. Side. That's the, no, it's so it's been. That's the side that matters, right? No, no, that's not. That's what I'm saying. It, it, oh, they specifically said that like they only fired a lot of like outside workers, so oh. like, people who were in support roles, people who were like community managers. There was like a prolific, uh, pretty prolific uh, community manager for World of Warcraft who came out and had a tweet like, as the sales call, like that's the worst part, is it w- it was announced during the, the the call with the investors. And then the bosses approached them with the pink slip. Yeah. As they were listening to the call. And there are reports of people in parking lots crying en masse. Because, I mean, this is your yeah. livelihood. Like, nudge, nudge. We're talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta get the fuck. And then it's just more and more horror stories coming out of Activision. Uh, once again, Activision... Literally showing us that AAA gaming may or may not come to a come to a fucking head, and and uh, I think gaming as a whole is probably just going to be retaken by not necessarily indie studios, but like larger studios, like larger developers like Bungie and and like uh, CD Projekt Red, kind of going more and and investing in themselves other than just going straight to a publisher. Yeah. But- which has been working very well for CD Projekt Red, but a lot of their their publishing money. CD Projekt Red is a really strange fucking situation because they get a substantial amount of money from Poland already. Yeah. Then WB uh, is – Warner Brothers is actually helping with a lot of their publishing over here. And that's all they're doing. They're just literally only selling the game huh. to in America. But most of like the marketing, anything that's going on with like you know, the actual game development, 
is all handled in house, which is great. Yeah. Bungie, uh, if you watch the the new vid doc that came out for the new season of the Drifter, for which is like a whole new uh, thing of content, you can see how much more excited people are now that act the fucking big bad boogeyman's out. Mm-hmm. Turns out there needed to be a blood sacrifice to the Chinese in order to make that happen. I forgot that Tencent gave them like a hundred and sixty some odd fucking million dollars. Yeah. So to escape. To escape. Yeah. Which. By the way, let's be honest. $160 like sixty million dollars worth of pocket sand. Not to not to fucking you know, come out and sound a little. I don't know if xenophobic's the word for it. Uh, the Chinese government's kind of ass, and I don't like the idea of any big Chinese corporation having its hands in the in the the cookie jar when it comes to American made or Western games in general, or even Japanese games. Because those are the same people that tried to censor the fuck out of Rainbow Six for no reason. Yeah. Well, because it had hey, skulls in Guess it. what? Make our population bigger and make them like weeb trash. Well, you know. That's uh, it. Now we're talking about some Get the fucking real Metal Gear bullshit. So I don't, I don't, I don't know uh, about, about like starting our own mother base of fuck of just f- the place, fuck trophies. The place where g- gamers without a country can go. <laughs> uh, the game. No. Uh, um, oh, but hey, don't so worry, guys. Gates. If you, Activision not getting off with, with scot free, because now all of their investors are looking to sue them. Uh, quite a few number of investors have come forward to several law firms that uh, deal specifically with the idea of investor fraud. They are under investigation right now, and there are there are moves and motions being made. I don't know what the fuck this means for the series, like for anything going on, but so, they're not the only ones. EA is starting to slowly burn too, and so, it's, it's but you know why they're investigating them, right? Right, is because they Activision during an investor meeting, like a couple months back, not very long ago, said, "Oh yeah, no, we have a very strong relationship with Bungie that will proceed for the next couple of years, five to ten years," and then three months later. We will be we will be separating from Bungie, and they will be taking Destiny with them. Yep. And the investors went, "Oh, so you lied <laughs> to get our money?" Yeah, yeah. It's We're bad. going to sue you now. I I am absolutely look. I do not ever champion the loss of lower level jobs ever. I think the concept of having another additional 9,000 employees completely out of the job and going nowhere is a terrifying uh, reality that may or may not happen within the next couple of years because it looks like if Activision doesn't pull something out of their, like a rabbit out of the fucking hat, it's not going to look good for them. Like it's not going to look for e- good for EA. And I think that right now, the disconnect between investors and publishers and developers and even the consumers has grown larger and larger. Mm-hmm. Day by day, because the concept of success has just not really been made a fine like it's it's not a finite fucking thing for these people. Growth is not something that is entirely sustainable on the level that play, like like publishers like Activision and EA consistently like search for. Yeah, and it's starting to come to a point where it's going to bite them in the ass sooner or later and Bobby Kotick's going to have to someone's going to have to either remove Bobby Kotick from the equation, bring someone else on and fucking get to a point where it's it makes more sense to like have someone with a little bit more forward thinking yeah. and and who understands video games a little bit more than, than just Oh, they're toys that I get money from. How green do you want the number to be? Yeah. The number's already green. Yeah. And I also think that it's like it's very in, green. I also think investors need to stop. And I think what the, one of the biggest issues with it is is I 100% believe Activision and EA are doing very shady shit because I don't believe for a, for a hot second that a game like Anthem needed hundreds of millions of dollars thrown into it. Nope. I don't believe a game like uh, Destiny needed hundreds of millions of dollars thrown into it. We have so many more amazing like game experiences coming out. A lot of single player experiences that are really killing it and are being very successful and are making the their respective developers and publishers a lot of money because of the fact that they were able to rein it the fuck in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, it you can make video gaming is profitable and it's the biggest it's ever been. 
if you're not a piece of shit. And unfortunately, EA and Activision have consistently shown time and time again that that's not going to be the case. Okay. So uh, at the end of the day, if they end up just completely getting themselves fucked over and have nowhere else to go but down, not the only thing that will be lost will be the jobs of many people who – working class people, people yep. who really make the core of that company even remotely – and even then, Activision is. is like a, it, it is really just a parent company for a lot of other things. Like, if Activision goes under, Blizzard will probably be fine. <laughs> yeah. If there's, and if we'll there's probably a way, take in some Activision people. Which goes back to Tencent, like, because I'm sure Tencent will show up and go, hey, looks like you guys need a home. And Treyarch, right? Is it still Treyarch? Treyarch, no yeah. Idea. Treyarch and Infinity Ward. They still I don't know if they'll be fine. I think that they'll absolutely be fucking lost. I think that 100%. If you if 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 like a weird, crazy situation happens where Activision can, like just goes the way of the dinosaur, mm -hmm. that Call of Duty license is getting snatched up by somebody. Yeah, and that's the only way that those fucking studios get saved. Yeah, it's gonna go right there with the Wu Tang album. No one can listen to. Oh man, <laughs> Martin Shrelly and that Martin dude with the Fire Festival sitting in the fucking same prison cell. Owning both rights to the Wu Tang album and the Call deed of Duty. to Call of Duty. Come get it, fuckers! <laughs> uh, yeah. So oh my God. Activision, big oops, big whoopsie daisies, big whoopsie daisies all around. Uh, hopefully, all those people. There. And you know what? One of the best parts was seeing the dis, like seeing how disconnected those people were and seeing how amazing a lot of other de uh, developers and studios were mm -hmm. uh in comparison like Cor uh, Corey Barlog from Santa Sony Santa Monica of uh God of War fame yeah immediately saw the news and it was like hey start sending your resumes in we have openings yeah start we'll we'll start we'll start accepting you guys immediately and he goes, we'll start moving you guys up through others. If we can't get you a job here, no, 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 we'll get you somewhere else. And now so many other people came together to try to get all these people fucked. Like, if you were affected by this, come see us. We have yeah. openings. Which is crazy to think about. I have a friend right now. We all know him, Mr. Mike, who is currently looking for uh, employment in the gaming field. And it's it's a fucking crazy market out there. Yeah. Super crazy. Uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of people will already know if you're not already, like, in a senior role – I mean, we're even seeing it with like uh, games like Cyberpunk, and, and even like uh, Japanese game-made games where developers are just straight up they're doing their job, and then they're like, "Okay, well, I'm done here. There's nothing more for me. Time to go to an entirely different development team." Yep. Uh, which is a very strange. Video games are very strange. Video, these toys for children are so confusing. God, they're so fucking. Huh. So, so much money involved, and it's so goddamn. Ah, uh... oh man! You know well... what's a big genre right now? Battle royale games. You know who wants to do something with it? Hidetaka Miyazaki, of Souls fame. I don't know much else about that, but I thought it'd be pretty interesting. Just kind of throw it out there, just like he just thought it'd be pretty interesting. Go out, and throw it out there. You know uh, what I wish he would find interesting. Armor Armor Core. Core. Well, he also did say that uh, I'm interested in it, but single game, single player games are thriving. So there's not much we can do there. Single player games aren't thriving. There are. They, they are. are. He's saying that like they're doing really well right now. Oh. So like, oh, this do... is in terms of the battle royale, thing, yeah, not in terms yeah. of the armored core thing. No. He refuses to make. No. Yeah. That's. Yeah. I mean, is that was Miyazaki even like remotely involved with in that? I don't, I don't even think so. He can. He, if anyone can make it happen, it's him. Probably. If he said, "I want to make Armored Core," who's going to tell that guy no? Well, technically, he did say that. He said the words, "I want to make Armored Core," and it still hasn't happened. Yeah, just not very badly. <laughs> yeah. Demon X Machina doesn't count. It doesn't it count. It doesn't count, and apparently, it runs like complete and utter fucking ass. So. Yeah. Stop releasing games on the Switch. Yeah. Just please stop it. So it's also, you know, speaking of mech games, Left Alive got launched and is already at 60% fucking discount in Japan. Uh, it's being referred to as the Fallout 76 of the Japanese gaming market. So that's pretty bad. You know, like, you know, like when an Ava unit, their, their cordon plugs and all the lights turn red and then a three minute countdown starts? Oof. That was the Left Alive launch. Yikes. They unplugged it. Kicked it out. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, that reminds me. I bought another art book. Oh, shit. It's like a 450-page hardcover. It's all of the production artwork from Evangelion. Yeah. Very excited. Very, very excited. Very excited. Very I buy all these coffee table books and I keep them on a shelf. What the fuck am I doing? It's very strange. Well, it's... But you know what isn't strange? You know what's fantastic news? Capcom CEO says that Capcom is Capcom is back. Do you believe it? I think they're absolutely here to stay. I think Capcom is back. But they're not all back yet. Fighting games don't count. Sorry. Fighting games aren't God, real. Bye. Fighting, fighting games aren't real. Fighting games aren't real. I Bye. wish they would just say, like, we're not going to make fighting games anymore. You can't, though. And then just put those, Fighter I, die, put those Street Street dies. Street Fighter dies and there's nothing else left. Yeah. Because Melee's gone. So, I mean, what what the fuck else is there going to be? Undernight. Those are weird. The really year. killing it with the segues. So I'll tell you. It's the year, <laughs> it's the, it's the year of Undernight. Oh, uh, man. Wait, one more thing about Capcom, though. Uh, Filipino Champ's been tweeting the number four. I don't I don't know. <laughs> that would make sense. He's been tweeting the number four and then the googly eyes emoji. Eggplant, eggplant. I mean, F-Champ is also just a fucking weirdo. I'm praying to God it's not. I d don't, just don't, just fuck Marvel. Just forget Marvel and just make a Capcom crossover fighting game. You have the IPs. Right. You have them. As long as uh, F-Champ doesn't, like, just let a fucking USB drive, like, he doesn't just leave it at a fucking, ain't, like, regular Naruto or, like, a Super Saiyan yeah, somewhere and it's full of Shotokan porn. As long as he doesn't leave his flash drive at the Medieval Knights. Yeah. Then... <laughs> I was trying to see what an equivalent would be for a FGC, like a bodega. It's on like... it's it's Popeye's. Yeah, like he just Ooh, leaves it at a fucking Popeyes or something. The Popeyes and then... You you move the you open the biscuit up and it's a fucking full like a full drive yeah. full of just traps. Like, <laughs> I was going through the beef at the Korean barbecue place and I saw a thumb drive <laughs> put into it. Um, would yeah. you like a side of underage boys with your <laughs> oyster blade chop? I hope you guys also enjoy the series finale of Not Another Podcast. Because <laughs> we're going to jail. Uh, hey, I didn't do it. That's yeah, true. We didn't do I've it. I've never been to a Medieval Knights. <laughs> never been. You can't prove it. Not once. I have all my flash drives here. I have all of my flash drives are on my keys. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, can't forget them. Yeah. Uh, Evo lineup came out. Melee is out. Undernight <sighs> is in. Samurai Showdown's in. Which is crazy to me. Yeah. Dead or Alive is out, obviously. I believe SNK buying their way in with Sam's show. Motherfuckers no. who have the audacity to turn around and think that French bread SNK, had the money or the care that to put Eunice on the fucking block. SNK like, the 100% fuck here. did not buy their way in, even not even a right, little. Right, but I, but I believe but SNK you would believe more. it first. Right, more so than fucking French bread. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah. Have, you, have you seen the, the compilation yet? Uh, oh, no, I haven't. All the, I've been meaning to. Yeah, of all the Smash players, uh, Leffen's pretty much the only one who had the most, like, he goes, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, cause, well, cause you know why? Because Leffen plays other video games. Yeah, but Leffen's also a head-ass, so. Oh, he's super head-ass, yeah. but, like, is he as head-ass as, as Hungrybox? Kind of. Having a full-blown PTSD, like, breakdown? Yeah, well, I Cause, expect cause that. Because a fucking, they only like, 18-year-old video game is does not going to appear anymore? See, my thing is, like, I under... It's... They only play Melee. So, like, I already kind of, like, whatever. They just yeah. play Melee. That's their game. They don't yeah. play video games. They play Melee. Leffen plays video games and has awful, horrible opinions about them. Yeah. I didn't. I, well, that's 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 what I'm saying. It's the most like, like yeah, non-confrontational opinion I think I've ever seen out of that man, and it came out of Leffen, yeah. right? So yeah. that should. I mean, if yeah. anybody's not hyped for Eunice, that fucking Evo, and not and more so isn't hyped that it's the one that killed Melee. I know it probably isn't. No, it wasn't. I know, it's, but it's, in but in the head canon, it it will forever be Mortal Kombat 11. No, it's not because it's not a Sunday. 
No. Cross tag battle is actually the one that cross tag battle is definitely the one that kills cross tag battle. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Ruby killed melee. They're gonna announce Kirito, and Kirito is gonna be the one that killed killed melee. I'm so excited. Dengeki is the sixth fate. There's six. Are you? There's a sixth fate. Are you ready for Negan to take Tekken? I'm a. I Are you not. ready for a I Negan really, main to I, take I Tekken really hope this not. year? We'll talk about Negan right now. <laughs> I played Negan in Tekken 7. He's fine. We're, when, when are we going to put in our chat, you know, if you're just going to exclamation mark like Nightbot or, or, a chat, or the chatbot? It's like, <laughs> N-word? The only N-word allowed here is Neptunia and Negan. <laughs> Neptunia, Negan, and Nero. <laughs> Uh, I I really like I I think Negan is a hilarious character. Why is he not in Tekken? Why is he here? Yeah. Ugh. You know what? I also have a very big question about fighting games. On what godly fucking earth is it okay to release a season pass that's ninety dollars? Yeah, it's Saturday Live. This isn't new. They've been doing it for years. I have no idea why everyone's surprised. No, not not surprised. It's it's more like. Again? Like, really? After all you said, you're just going to renege. They never said anything about charging you less for costumes. I'm almost positive I I made the prediction about this. Didn't I? I think the last time I talked about DOA 5 or DOA 6, I was like, watch. DOA 5 was the same way. DOA 5 got announced. They said they want to do a more fight thing, and then they just made it all about titties. They never, Once again, they never said they were going to sell less costumes. Right. That ne- they never said that. Right. That is where the money for Dead or Alive comes oh, from. Man. This is, n- this is not news to me at all. And the fact that everyone's like, I can't, I can't believe that they would think that they could sell it. Yeah, they would think they can sell it because it works and people buy it. Uh-huh. Every single fucking time. But it's always depressing. Dead or Alive 6 came out. It's an awesome fighting game. Grinding for costumes sucks right now, but they have already talked about fixing it. So at least they're taking feedback, which is nice. It's Mm. a fun game. It doesn't have enough content to justify $60. That is my impression of Dead or Alive 6. It's not as depressing as the realization that Kingdom Hearts is not actually over. So the Ultimania review or like uh, interview came out and was fully translated the other day. Like it was completely fully translated. Yeah. And it, uh, one of the ending, I, you know, there's a lot. I didn't really read the full thing, um, but it, it goes over quite a few story spoilers, which I don't know if we're. Uh, no, we're not. We're, uh, we're not too. Fun. But one of the story spoilers in general, I mean, uh, I think it's it's common knowledge at this point by now that unfortunately Kingdom Hearts 3 is not the final Kingdom Hearts game. It may not even be the final game for Sora in general. Uh, it, it is... It is <laughs> we're not off the ride yet. And uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I was hyped. But then the more you think about I'm it... not... I immediately hated it so much. Just fucking... Just fuck... Just stop playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Beat the last boss. Like, get the last hit. And then turn your console off for all that it matters. No. Get the ending. Just don't no. watch the epilogue. No, because you have to watch the epilogue because the next game. No, no, you don't have to. No, you can, you, can, you can totally stop at a certain point. No, because then you'll, you'll know. Because no. if, you wa- if you watch the ending and you see the ending and then you see the next game and then you see what's in the next game, then you're like, oh, so the ending didn't matter. No, you but spe- if you no. never see the ending... Then you're just like, oh, of course it would just continue. You you have to stop at the last. You you no, hit him. I disagree. Donald I disagree casts Thundaga, and then you shut the console off. No, because that, that's not how that works. Because the guy, the, the dude. Oh, this is gonna be a, gonna take spoilers. Like, it, <laughs> no, I think we should keep trying to talk around it. Look, the it, the thing is not there anymore so there's obviously a new thing because we saw it in this secret movie because the older thing did a thing where he went and tried to go and get the other thing and is no longer with the other other things that are already back with 
all the other other normal things. No, nah, this was a this was a wasted effort. Okay, I well didn't that's get a single word of it. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> I what? thought I did, and then I lost it. No, you lost it because I was trying to figure out a way to say the old crew. Oh, the oldest crew. Yeah, the oldest crew. Okay, hit Xehanort, watch the after credit scene. Yes, and then and then stop. Stop, and then you're fine. The moment you see a man with a box, you've already fucked up. If, there, if a box comes out. If a box comes out and a man pulls his hood down and shows you a character reveal that makes you go fucking really? No, you can watch that part. Really? Yes. You 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 hit the boss. You get that last hit. Then you watch that cut scene. Just watch the full fucking. No, we keep pushing it. Back. No, no, that's it. You're on the ride. You're right. You're right. Don't play it. Just skip it. Just don't fucking play King of Hearts anymore, guys. Just, if you either on the ride or you're off the fucking ride. I'm off the ride now. I'm done. <sighs> you say that now. But sooner or later, King of Hearts 4 is going to drop. Or, actually, it's, holy shit, it's not going to be 4. He said there's at least two more games before 4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll play Kingdom Hearts 3 again when Final Mix drops or the Final Mix season pass or whatever. But, yeah, no, I, I, I'm I, done. I can't. Oh, I'm my done. God. That man legit had the audacity to say, no, there's going to be two whole-ass games. Hey, let's talk about Kingdom Hearts mo- news that doesn't suck, and I'm actually going to say a nice thing about the Switch. Okay. Kingdom Hearts 3 is literally impossible to put on the Switch. <laughs> it's impossible. But the other ones aren't. Uh... Who cares? Portable Kingdom Hearts 2? You know what? When I, I have been dr- when I first heard about the PSP, the original one, yeah. I was under the impression that it was a portable PS2. And now my dream will be a reality. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So. I don't know. Kingdom Hearts 2? Well, you don't have a Switch, so. Even if I did. You don't, you I'm don't going know. To ha- I'm going to have to get one this year. You don't know the, the beauty of... of Getting under the covers and <sighs> getting pissed that Demon X Machina isn't <laughs> armored core runs fucking in, in the comfort of your bed. Sub 20 frames out of docked mode. Yeah. Yikes. All right, I think that's... I love Freedom Wars. Yeah, Freedom Wars is fine. Yeah, Demon X Machina is fine, I guess. Hey, so video games came out in the span of two months. I didn't play any of them. I played quite a few of them. So did I. You lied. <laughs> Literally two seconds. It did, there's new record. <laughs> there's new record for fastest heel turn. You can't just... Where's the kayfabe? This is broken. How? <laughs> Dead. Is it as broken as Axel breaks that fourth wall? Yeah. Consistently? So... I will. I want to spoil one thing in Kingdom Hearts three. Okay. I am sorry, everyone. Turn your ears off if you do not want this. I guess for the next thirty seconds to a minute. Okay. Uh, the idea of Axel literally turning around to every character in the room and saying, "Who the hell are you, people?" and Jiminy Cricket having the audacity to hand him a cell phone and go read up on the lore is the Jiminy... funniest fucking thing Jiminy Cricket... that's ever happened no, in a video game. See, because Jiminy Cricket doesn't just hand Axel a phone with all the lore. He hands to everyone. He hands. He passes them out and goes, "Listen." Just fucking read it. <laughs> I've been writing this shit for 16 years. Just read it. <laughs> and if the jackass playing this didn't fill out my journal in the other games, then there's going to be some holes. <laughs> and you're just going to have to patch that shit yourself. <laughs> okay. So Aqua's on done. like, hey, Jimmy, on page 627, what the fuck? Well, who's nominee? <laughs> Jimmy's like, I don't fucking remember. But it's just... just but God damn it! apparently she's a cool person. I wrote it in the book. It says just thank her. Just fucking We're do working it. with the same information. Like, <laughs> if it's not in the book, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Just fucking dead ass looks at Do you at see where's Tara in the book? No. Dead it's because I don't fucking know. Dead ass looks at Ventus. So you're the guy who made Roxas. I wasn't even like... alive when you were around. You're not in the book. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... We'll just skip over the fact that Aqua and Ventus are also 30 years old, technically, in the timeline. <laughs> uh, Mickey's, 
like a like eight hundred years old. Yeah, Mickey. <laughs> that reminds me of the fucking thing where Yen Sid comes out, and it's the, I've always wanted to do this, and it's right at the end, and it's my name is Disney backwards. <laughs> I, I want to see the Just a Pancake summary for Kingdom Hearts 3. So oh, bad. my God. Um, so, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. I played it in two days. 22 hours in two days. Took Human beings aren't supposed to do that. Took me a week. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of a blur to me. Um, it, it needs a harder difficulty. Yeah. 100%. It needs a harder difficulty. Combat is very floaty. Com- combat, big big floats. Uh, we, and, we're playing with moon shoes and and, and uh, uh, sock and bop and sock and bop That's what we were playing. Motherfuckers with. on moon shoes and sock and bop with giant sticks. Yeah. Um, throwing Beyblades out at each other. Yeah, I agree. Like some worlds are a lot better than others. Everyone who said the pirates world was the worst one. You're you're wrong. It was the longest one in no. terms of that mini game. What the boat? Yeah, the white crab thing. I think the white crab uh, thing oh, was the, easily the finding the three under white crab sucked. That part <sighs> sucked, but everything else in that world was super cool. It was very and cool. And it's the only one where it's like you actually It, it also made... has the worst boss fight, the worst final boss fight of the world. It was easy. I I would consider that to be the worst. Like, like in a game of dead. already easy fucking boss fights. Yeah, it's the only Disney boy though. It's very strange how brain dead proud difficulty is. Like yeah. it's very strange. And I didn't. Yeah, I died once during my playthrough, and then on the last boss, I died maybe twenty times. I died quite a few times to the final boss. I don't want to say twenty. There's the, it that one section. Between phases, yeah, I, I, it never clicked. I and, don't know how I beat it. I don't know what I did to make yeah. it work, but it worked. Also, um, I will say this: the something gets lost in the general scale and the set piece value uh, without the reaction commands. Reaction commands, I feel like, really added. A lot of just very fun. Like it's. I know they're QTs. I know they're QTs. I know it's just funny. It's but like... it's like you think about the final boss fight, and uh, the idea that there is so like so much craziness happening, and I'm still like, he's just a tiny boy. Yeah. <laughs> like he's just this tiny. This is a tiny man running around in a suit of armor. Like is it? Yeah. That's all it is. So. Uh, like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I need to play it again, but I'm not gonna play it again until again some kind of final mix. That's the thing is like, I finished it and immediately like, okay, what's in the post game? What can I do now? And it's yeah. like you can get the ultimate weapon. Um, <sighs> fight the super heartless that was added at the day of release, which they they, well, according to a lot of people, there was just no. No final, like, secret boss before release day, which to me uh, speaks that they're going to kind of treat Kingdom Hearts 3 as a pseudo live service game and add more because that's what they did. I know it's making your brain hurt. I understand, but that's what happened. That's what they did, so Max. Let me, let me pay 20 bucks for a final mix patch later on and just call it a day. Right, and he's already said that there's going to be no final mix edition. That's a lie. That's, I, mm, that's a bold-faced lie. Mm, They're going to release enough DLC that makes it into a final mix, and then they're going to package it all together and call it Kingdom Hearts 3 Final Mix. I'm very curious to see if like they'll do anything uh, battle-wise to make it uh, a bit more... Yeah, they're going to tie cinder blocks to sword. Yeah! Feet. If you have to, fuck! Like, I enjoyed battle systems in uh, in the game. Also... The hilarious amount of people that are like, I can never skip past the attraction flow is insane. Insane to me. Yeah. The I never, game tells you you can switch. I ne yeah, I never it's like it's a it's a full button. 
that you just you hit the button and it cycles through. You can even toggle it so the D-pad goes through them. No, it's wild to me that there's like we live in a day and age where people are are so. Fu- I I honestly think of it as like people are just so held by their hand that the they don't even like do the okay. What are my buttons yeah. do? Yeah. Like you can't even make the fucking quick like mental fucking note of going what do all my buttons do? Yeah. Right. And I understand at some point, like, you know, you do need to have, like, the thing to choose in the first place to kind of go through it. But, like, it, it tells you. It, it, says it gives it you a tutorial mess. It stops the video game. It stops, it stops the, the video, video game. It, and it, you... The screen goes black in the box. It expands, but not at 60 FPS. It expands slow. So you have time. And it goes. Which is not true because, like I said, you were playing on the Super Sampling the whole time. No, I wasn't. I was playing in 4K the whole time. Yeah, that too. If you knock it down to 1080p, with no super sampling at all. Yeah. Uh, almost full 60 fps. No, oh, well, the, the entire the entire okay. game. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe I'm 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 the performance hog now, where I'm like, I've seen 4K. I go, that's pretty. Yeah. Fuck it. No, like, it's the HDR that makes it worth it. HDR is what. Yeah. No. HDR is what blew my dick like off. Like after I streamed Devil May Cry last night, I immediately swapped. To, to 4K because I can't do it through the capture card. Right. And like, fuck, that's a different game. That yeah. game looks different. Looks very pretty. Very pretty game. Um, But I, all in all, I like it. I, I enjoyed Kingdom Hearts 3. I, mean, I had my fun with it. I'm not I'm not one of the people who are like, I've been waiting for this game since Kingdom Hearts 2 because there hasn't been any other Kingdom Hearts games. All this time waiting and it's only 20 hours of just like <laughs> mess. It's like, okay. Now we sound jaded and dumb and bitter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to come out. We're gonna have to show Max's balls on the stream, my balls on stream, when we both loaded up Kingdom Hearts three for yeah. the first time. Mm-hmm. Both of us said we're gonna cry. Yeah. That, that that happened. We had that emotional experience. There were a couple of moments that I got to that point. Yeah, um, you know, after the the secret movie, I'm like, oh, cool. That was nothing. Yeah, wasted. Right, wasted tears. Yeah, and the other, the other one was like seeing the characters, the old crew, the middle old. The, there's one crew. The crews, the the only crew, the the best crew, the best crew. Yeah. I think we're on the same page. Yeah. When they reunited, that brought yeah. literal tears to my eyes. That like, was very good. The They're reason, also the best characters in all of Kingdom yeah. Hearts. The only reason I'm I, I'm even like the only reason I'm even like like because I I did I really enjoyed it. I played through the whole thing in two days, yeah. but that secret movie really like soured the, like the, the whole thing for me. And now Nomura, it's like it's not over yet. Nomura's it's like, a hack. Nomura is absolutely a fucking hack, and I'm done with it. I, like, I, I'm guys. I'm I point. can't make a Kingdom Hearts game without Sora. It's like yeah, you can. You've done it. <laughs> You've literally done it. Yeah. You've done it multiple times. Hey, somebody just got a Keyblade and did nothing with it and could have easily been made a main character for a game. I Maybe. What's, what's worse than infringing character? Giving the character means to defend itself and then still fridging the character. <laughs> Are you familiar with that term? <laughs> it's... I, Maybe. Okay, so I, they, I I get it. I the, get what you're the saying. The idea is that what they did with Lady and Trish in DMC five. Yeah. Wherein uh I think it, it comes back to a Green Lantern comic where uh a girlfriend was only brought on to be f- like she was killed and stowed into his fridge. So the idea of fridging a character essentially is the concept of this character is only here to serve as a motivation for the main character to do something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like it is. It, I've never is, heard that term for it, but I, yeah. Because what, what the idea is that this character is made so fucking innately useless. Like it's, it is impossible. But it's also so, in, so important to the storyline because the main character does not do the thing without the this happening. They are a plot device. Or a super hard plot device. And the thing like, about Kingdom Hearts worse. 3 And it's is... specifically, I think most of the time, it's specifically used for female characters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because by the, the way, are... happy Women's Appreciation Month. <laughs> yeah. This stream brought to you by all the lovely ladies in the chat. <laughs> the one. <laughs> um... No, and the thing that's inc- especially egregious about Kingdom Hearts 3 is they spend an entire <sighs> game telling you. It's like, no, it's not going to happen again. It's not going to happen again. 
And then it happens. And it happens. But then they reverse it, and they're like, no, it's not going to happen again. No. I'm going to protect you. And it's cute. And it fucking happens and again. it happens again. Ah, spoiler cast will happen to happen. It'll just happen. It's not. That's the thing is that, like, it... That's the, the other problem with Kingdom Hearts is, like, it's it really is, like, 17 hours of wacky Disney adventures that don't have any, you know, ties. And they do try to tie it into the organization stuff better in this game than the other ones did. Like, every world kind of has a reason to be there. But at the end of the day, it's like, you bought the game for the last four or five hours. Is Kingdom Hearts 1 still the best Kingdom Hearts story? Absolutely not. Really? Absolutely not. No. What's the What's the best Kingdom Hearts story? I still think it's two. No, <laughs> no. it's chain of. It's, no, it's no. Recoded. Did I say chain of memories? I didn't mean that. No, you I meant three hundred fifty-eight days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still the best story because it has the best crew. Even so. even with the weird like nobody's can't feel anything. But I don't want to die. That yeah, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. Another game came out before that we didn't get to talk about a whole lot, Resident yeah. Evil 2. That yeah. game's fucking fantastic. I still haven't beaten Hardcore. There are several streams where I have thrown stuff in the room out of pure frustration. Yeah, but you... I still love that game. But you keep trying for S-Rank, right? I keep trying just, for S-Rank. I was going to say just fucking finish it. Yeah, but... And I, then you know what is there. You don't get the unlock unless you get S+. plus. Yeah, but... You'd be better at getting S plus if you played through it straight, and then you're like, okay, now I know what's going to happen. No, I know what's going to happen. Well, I'm just bad. Oh, no, then drop it. Fuck you. Okay, that's fine. Guess what? I'm going to be doing Devil May Cry is going to be that. I'm going to come in here and you're going to be playing on Hell on Hell, and you're going to be fucking doing the same thing. I'm going to laugh at your dick. I'm not going to play Hell on Hell. Those ones are dumb. You're fucking stupid. Yes, you are. Don't waste my time with that shit. Bullshit. You're going to sit there and you're going to be like, oh, I'm wasting my time on that. I know I no. am. No. Say no, you bitch. No, Bloody Pal. Once Bloody Palace is out, Bloody Palace is my life. <sighs> that is true. BP till I die. Resident Evil 2 is really good. Resident Evil 2 is good. Um, From what I've, I've seen you play of it. Oh, man. I, you know, the and thing Tali. is... What a night. What a night. What a night. Um, kind of just going to gloss over it because there's not a whole lot to talk about. I mean, there is a lot to talk about that would require a whole lot more time. Yeah. But I don't. But the, the strange thing is, for the games I like, not a whole lot I want to talk about. Because it's just, they're so good, you might as well play them yourselves. Yep. The, the review is... And you already know. Yeah. Resident Evil 2 has been out for a while. You, it's you good. already know. It's good. Go play it. Hardcore is really, is actually genuinely difficult. It's, video games are hard again. That's super fun. Yeah. That's super good. Yeah, except um, not Kingdom Hearts. But other video games are hard again. Yeah. Yep. Um, then but. leading up the charge, uh, February was actually really weird. And two, there's two main games I played. Yeah. I bought one. Mm-hmm. have not touched it. Uh, Metro. Metro came out last month. I thought you streamed it once. I did. Oh, but okay. when I think I've not touched it, I go, I streamed for like an hour and a half, two hours. Haven't touched it since. No. So, like, I love the Metro games. Those are really cool. I am still in between uh, whether or not we're going to be streaming it. And that's the biggest question. That's why I haven't touched it yet. Because I still don't know who wants to see it, who doesn't want to see it. Yeah. So I haven't been streaming it. Um, or haven't been playing it in general at yeah, all. I'm probably going to skip that one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, God of Duty 3 came out on the 8th. Yep. Fun I game. corrected my mistake. Oof. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, God of Duty 3 is really fun. Yeah. Um, I'm very curious to see how that game's going to last with all of the because there's a bunch of free updates coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, like even in like between March and May, there's going to be like a story content like con- content update. Yeah, that's going to do, and essentially do the same thing that like happened with the older games, except now there's an actual platform for it because it's using a next generation console. Yeah, it still looks like a PSP game on some level. It looks better than than all the other God Eaters by far. Vita. Uh, Vita Plus, right? Exactly, but it looks it looks like a Vita PS, Plus game. PSTV upscaled, you know. Yeah, it looks like it. You know what? It looks like a Switch game. Straight up, gross. Looks like a Switch game. Yeah. Uh, and that's fine. 
Yeah. It's really fun. The yeah. child character is actually really endearing. Yeah. That's one of the craziest fucking twists in all of gaming. That the first, like the first thing that this is annoying. I thought this character was going to be fucking stupid. Oh, and annoying. okay. I thought there was like a story to us that I just fucking missed. No, well, I'm almost caught up. Oh, to really? You guys. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm so. only. I. I you, you guys are on four, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm We're on, on five. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm. I'm at the very end of three. Okay. And that was after one night. I, I is that when Feem? Is that when Feem does her thing or no? Feem is the child. Have you have a? Do you have a child that role dances with you yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, there have been multiple fights with Feem. Yeah, so yeah. Feem is not only one of the most endearing and cutest fucking like kid characters in the game so far, uh, she's also really fucking useful. Yeah. Uh, so it's not an escort mission with her. She's just a tiny ball of death. With the fucking moon. With a fucking heavy moon arc, which is crazy. Uh, the Heavy Moon Arc is a yeah. stupid fucking fun weapon. I haven't fucked around the Twin Blades. What do you think about the Twin Blades? I like them. I'm probably never going to switch. Really? Yeah. You uh, you like them that much? I know, but I... Mm, yeah. I didn't get the feeling of the Twin... Like, actual, like, dual swords that I was anticipating. I don't know why. I... I Because I, when, when he does the staff thing, like, oh, God, I fucking love... The staff. Well, better. that's the thing is, I like. Bo- well, you have to use both. That's the yeah. that's the thing I like about it is you're constantly switching between them, and it, it gives you like double utility. I yeah. don't. Know. I think they're cool. And I again, if I were to switch to anything, I'd probably get a crushing weapon. But that's like it. So I have a heavy sword, and just, that's it. Contrary to popular belief, there's a lot of people who who don't like the the new burst art system. I love the new burst art system. I think it's great. Uh, I think it's way better than the blood art system. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. There's a lot more unique, crazier moves to do. And the fact that you can add, like, uh, modifiers to your burst arts. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, this now fires projectiles or creates pillars around you when you slam. Like, there's a lot of cool little things you can do with that. I, I, I like it. I like it. It's it's one of those things where I want to dedicate more time to it. But the, I, the, so much was coming out. Yeah. Um. And then uh, I want to say near the tail end of January, before we get into the big one, the tail end of January, uh, we had an announcement and then immediate dr- fucking shadow drop of a game. Oh, yeah, that, dude. dude. I totally it, forgot. Do it. Do it. I, I'm, wa- I'm waiting <laughs> for you. I'm waiting to see how you're going to sandbag this one. I want to know. I see it in your eyes, the the immense glee. I want to know what you're going to say that's going to derail my train so hard. Every night before bed, like an hour and a half to two hours of Tetris 99. Oh, fuck. Okay, like, that's not that bad. All the time. Okay, well, yeah, you're right. Like, all the time. You're right. Just you're completely right. Stealth drop that shit. I can't. I actually really the bet The only Tetris battle royale. The only battle royale game worth giving a shit about. All right. Well, now you're... Now you're put, no, you've never you're played it. Right. You okay. That's what I'm <laughs> when you play it, you're like, "What the Apex? Who? <laughs> For what? <laughs> Apex Legends dropped, which is a Titanfall battle royale. So the immediate reaction was, <laughs> ah, yeah. I'm back down to like, eh. no, I'm fine. I'm completely fine with Apex." Because they because they've already revealed like there's a, they've data mined it there's titans and wall running in that and not like in a sense of like it's deleted files like it's future updates yeah but so that it, game's gonna have just a ton, probably want, a free to play titanfall but I want the character that can wall run power slide has a grappling hook and has a titan that's why I'm saying like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they're building up to a potential free to play version of titanfall. <laughs> Respawn is, is somehow getting away with whatever the fuck they want over Z- at EA. Vin Sampella is w- literally one of the craziest motherfuckers who doesn't take people's shit. Did you hear about what he said during an interview for like the Titanfall 2 release? Oh, yeah. Where like he, uh, the EA executive, like, where he's yeah, like, well, how do you guys feel about this? And he's like, yeah, we're, we're dedicated to the platform. And he goes, yeah, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like to think that uh, over at Respawn, whenever the EA execs come in, they all hide under their desks. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I guess Respawn took a day off. Good for them. <laughs> and then they leave. And then they fucking leave. Like, Guys, quick, make a video game. <laughs> I you, And you know what? It's crazy because he's got to have fucking pictures of someone with a goat. There's no way. There's no way Vincent Pella just has that much power to sit there and go, 
we were making one game go fuck yourself. We're doing a battle royale. And he had to go, ah, 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 mm. and they're just like, uh, 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 no, this is what we're doing. Fuck off. And he was like, well, can you make the Star Wars game? Yeah, maybe. Right. Yeah, it's maybe. I'll think about it. How how cool can we make it? I think it's relatively cool. What is it? What is it? Like is a it? box, right? Right. Is it? And you open it. Multiplayer? But you don't know what's going well, Multiplayer? Single player. Multiplayer. <laughs> multiplayer. Okay, good. Okay, yo, okay, do Ghost, your thing. Do Ghost, your thing. Ghost data. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. all the stories coming out of Apex Legends is a uh, general development. Uh, really made a lot of people very upset. And then they played it. And then the most people who have been playing it have been going, yeah, it's fun. For me, I, I think it's hands down the best Battle Royale game. Hands down. Second uh, for sure after Tetris yeah, 99. For sure, for but sure. yeah, I would I would agree. Um, that ping system is literally so good. Yeah. Every fucking video game that has multiplayer needs to utilize yeah. it. Needs to steal that idea immediately. The the way I see it is Apex Legends is the last step before the Battle Royale game that I play. Yeah. There's one more that needs to happen that goes a little bit farther than Apex, and that'll be the one that I can't stop playing. And that was Tetris 99. And that was Tetris 99. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, keep it simple, stupid, you know? <laughs> that ping system, like, I, I can't get enough of, like, that. there has to be... I want to see the GDC panel on... Yeah, we just, people are stupid. Here's how we make it not stupid. See, I like the ping system, but at the same time, it kind of makes me sad. Because, like, now you really don't have to talk to anybody anymore. Right. It's a little depressing. But no, But again. you know what I've actually found more is that that's actually incentivized a lot more team play. Communication. A lot more so. communication because like, there's no reason not to. Because the entire it is the it, it perfectly for what that game is intending to do, there is no solo drop by now, like right now, yeah. and the whole entire game is built around the three person character, like three character dynamic, and it's super fucking good. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> there's very, I mean, even like it's one of those like it's one of the battle royales that I've played that I go, this is the one that's going to get most people on board. If it's not Fortnite, it's this one. Because this is going to be where if you don't like Fortnite, you'll definitely like Apex. If if it, if you're a shooter fan and you're like battle royales or or oh, I don't want to die so quick, and da it's like oh, but you can drop with your friends. Like you can, there's weapon pickups are easy, inventory management's way fucking yeah. easier. Uh, it's free to play. Like yeah, you know but, it. It has elements from other games that you really like. The combat feels good. Uh, the movement feels good. It's not wall running, but it feels good. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try it again when they add solo dropping, whenever that is. Really? I just, Why? I, I, I don't like team games. That is, oh well, you're fighting game. Like guy. playing, playing with friends is like fine, but like if I'm just if like okay, I want to play Apex, like I don't want to drop in with two random people, because I don't, I don't want to either be the weakest link. And then, you know, drag everybody else down. Right. Or, and this is probably not going to happen in Apex, I don't want to be the person all the way at the top getting dragged down by two other people. I yeah. like to win or lose by my own efforts. Right. But I think that uh, that the, the best part about, like, Battle Royale is that um, the, the, the genre in itself is already the great equalizer. So, for me, it's not a situation of, like, Oh, I mean, you can get carried and or carry in Apex. I've done both, but I, I, I just I don't think it's as bad as like an Overwatch, wherein you are completely fucked because of your team. No, you either not. you either live and die. No, because then you you just get your teammates killed, and then you can play solo. Yeah, in, in Apex, yeah, you yeah. Just throw if them you, right if under the, you if you throw drop, them under the bus immediately, if you drop where they're not dropping, it's just basically playing solo. That's true. It's just you literally just you take play the solo. headphones off and you just go. Yeah, because most people will fucking just if if they die in the first two seconds, most people will just disconnect anyway. Hey, you're playing solo. Yeah, but I don't yeah, suggest yeah, it. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, super fun. Uh, God, Overwatch is a fucking nightmare. I tried solo queuing in that like twice on stream, and I'm like, this is the worst. Solo queue is very hard. I also can't play shooters though, so. Uh, got the diamond in Overwatch several times, and I'm 
happy. I'm pretty sure I've plateaued to the point where it's like, in order to get better, I have to do nothing but play Overwatch. Yeah. Which I'm not okay with. Oh, okay. You don't want to play Baptiste? Sure. Sure, why not? Is that his name? Where were you going? I don't remember his name. Where have you... Oh. Because I... Because I don't want to say... Because it was Baptiste. Moira. The first thing that came up was... No. No. That's not what I was thinking. Because the first thing that came up for me was Bangalore. Oh. And then... So I'm like, okay. So it can't be a B. So immediately I push B out of my head. Because I'm like, if I'm thinking B, I must be thinking of Bangalore. That's a fact. Right. And then I was thinking of... um, a different letter. You know, there's 20, man, 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 man. 26 of them. <laughs> there's a lot of cho- there's choices. Oh, my God. There could have been an Overwatch here naming. Or no, name, what I meant was I'm still going to play man. Overwatch. <laughs> but, but like, I'm not, like, there's to a point where it's like, in order to get to Grandmaster, I now have to play every yeah. single day. And I don't want to do that. So I got my diamond. I know I can get my diamond. I know I can climb back to diamond. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I, I've, I've proven it to myself. That's all that matters. The See, only other game that I will do that for is CSGO. Because CSGO is still, for me, infinitely fun. Because yeah. it's it's my, my childhood, essentially, just upgrading. Like, Smash. Yeah. It's, 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 fighter, it's a shooter Smash. No, dude. It's all about CS 1.6. <laughs> I can't believe... I can't believe 1.6 isn't at DreamHack. <laughs> Oh my God! How do you think you got here? Oh my God, dude! They just uh, CS:GO I, is casual garbage. I really wish they didn't fucking just disrespect 1.6 like that. Um, dude. No, I'm satisfied with where I got in Overwatch. Yeah, I played Ash, and I realized like if I don't like this character, then I'm never gonna like this game. And then I uninstalled it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Ash, look at her. That's Max's character. That, yeah. No, it's not. Very hard to play, actually. I think that's I think that's the biggest issue is she is the most shooter character in that game and just it, <laughs> throw the dynamite and then shoot it. No. 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 No, thank you. Hey, do you want to play shooters like a character action game? Uh, mm, yeah. Play 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 Doomfist. Play no, Doomfist. They made him bad. Play Ash. Play Genji. Play the most mechanically involved characters in all of the game. When is Overwatch gonna get a puppet character? Ash is it. No. Ash is it. No, I mean, you don't have guns. You use the mouse to control a different character, and then you use your abilities to make them shoot for you. That would never, ever, ever work. Well, we'll see about that one, bucko. Yeah, get on that. A lot of open spaces at Activision. Oh, no! new, new talent. Oh, get out. Hey, guys, Anthem sucks. So I've been playing Undernight again. Yeah? Yeah. Chaos is fun. You got a book. You got a dog. You I know? really, I saw you doing some cool stuff with Chaos. Yeah. Everyone keeps yelling at me, though, because I, I go from, I went from the hardest character in the game to the slightly less hardest character in the game. They're like, Max, you're never going to learn how to actually play the game. I'm like, that's okay. I got a dog. I got a big sword. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun in training mode. I don't know if I'm having fun in matches yet because I haven't played enough. I thought we thought we were having fun in matches yesterday. That looked really fun. Yeah, it's fun when everyone's yelling around you. Well, not yelling because then I get scared. You need hype, man. I know. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that no, was good. Yeah. All right. Fine. Tell me why Anthem sucks. Hey. <laughs> Is it because the numbers aren't real? Oh, my God. Is it because God. the system crashes and then bricks, but not just the PS4, literally, literally all of them? I had, okay, so we were going, I was going to do a casual impressions video, and essentially what I ended up doing is we, <laughs> the other discovery we made in the last two months is that I am also low-key a live streamer and just didn't know it yet. Um, and uh, basically just took the two hours of footage of Ant- the footage I had just scrolled past it and, and gave you guys a sort of mini review. So we're not going to go into too much detail with why Anthem is so abysmal. Mm-hmm. But uh, it, really what it comes down to is more and more every single day it is becoming 
probably more insulting than Destiny 1 or 2 ever has been or ever could be. Because mechanically, there are things that are happening in that game that are just god-awful. God-fucking-awful. Which, thankfully, the damage thing is, as they've said, a bug. But, that, I mean, how does that even happen? That's a... Your whole game is... It, it's a loot shooter. The whole point is to get bigger numbers that do bigger damage. If that part doesn't work, what is your <sighs> game? What did you make? You made Dark Void again. So in the in the uh, in the end, like basically the first, beginning thing that really you start to realize why this game is so bad. It has Sci-Fi Channel one hour special level of writing, mm -hmm. uh, incredibly Which... incredibly awful archetypical characters that have little to no actual personality. Uh, you can see that that Owen guy. I don't sure if you remember him in your playthrough. Um, is immediately going to betray you. I knew that. I called it out in a stream. Guess what? He betrays you later on in the game. It is There is no surprises in that entire game. There is no real good villain. That they... Well, to correct you, there are tons of surprises, just not good ones. Not good ones. Um, <laughs> not story ones. Uh, I, I've never had a game insult me to the point where, like, the anthem is insane going past an actual landmark. Because, yeah, we were told once... That the ruins were lifted upside down because gravity fucked up. Like, really? That's crazy. Goes, yeah. That won't happen now, though. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? That's like somebody describing the Titanfall 2 level where you're swapping back and forth between time. Yeah. It's like, yeah, one time this pilot ran through this whole facility and he just kept jumping back and forth between the future and the past, between like the ruin lab and the future lab. Nothing that cool will ever happen again, but I just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> now follow me for ten minutes. Let's walk. There are no follow. There's not that many follow fucking missions in Titanfall Two. Did you beat Titanfall Two? Phil, I feel like you got lost in the bit. I did. <laughs> I got super lost. Where are you going? I was saying like, that's what that's what Bioware's Titanfall Two oh, would be. It's like mm. I'm going to describe this awesome thing to you. No, and now no let's ignore it. Oh, follow me for a bit. No, just nothing, none of that either. That's why it's so strange that you did that. Because the well, <laughs> Anthem, it, 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 well, Anthem like, is it, a it, game where you get told to go and stand in a fucking circle for 30 well, minutes. In a single-player FPS, the thing that would happen is follow and listen to Call of talk. Duty. Yeah. You know, just, yeah, so I'm... Yeah. It, no, I'm sorry for... Uh, equivalencies for, had to be drawn. I'm sorry for sandbagging it's your cool. bit. I, I, got, I got lost in the box. I, 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 I really... It. Yeah, you got you got stuck between the future and the... Gravity messed up. <laughs> it won't happen again. It won't happen. What, was he apologizing? He's like, I'm sorry. Anthem, it turned everything upside. I won't let it. It won't <laughs> happen. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. <laughs> So that you have this fucking plot, div this literal MacGuffin that you do not use ever in the entirety of the game, and the only thing it ever actually does is it is a, a glorified monster spawner. Cool. It is it is known as the will of creation itself, and it does fuck and all, and it's awful. How poetic. Yeah. It's really deep, Bioware. Very deep. Maybe creation is just as dismal as destruction, and maybe there really is no in between. Why maybe is the... it all is meaningless. Phil, why is the anthem crazy train? Why is that the anthem? Yeah, you want to go? You want to talk about the hype? Crazy, the hype crazy. is hype is commercial. That's just how it goes. Oh my god! Really, the people. <laughs> So my favorite is still the grenade launcher, and its special effect is has a zero percent <laughs> chance to do zero percent extra fire damage zero percent of the time. So I don't know if they've come out and said that was a glitch. I think they just came out and said that we're working on it, and I don't know if that's an admission of a glitch or an admission of it's yeah, like, that's a bad we idea. We didn't put minimum values. <laughs> we forgot. That's a masterwork. They call it a masterwork. Yeah. And if and the worst part, like I don't know if the, if you figured that out, um, the reason why that's even worse is because the resource needed to craft a masterwork weapon takes far more time and resources to put into it 
than like the one before the like if you craft like a legendary like right underneath it, it's like it's like ten of the embers. Yeah. It jumps to twenty five yeah. for a master work. And those are not like easy to find. So uh you know, not only that, scaling it, there's only three strongholds. Strongholds are essentially dungeons. All of the dungeons scale to your level. And then there's the, obviously the discovery of the damage bug where the scaling is so fucked in that game that level one, like the apparently the level one guns have been performing admirably much better than a masterwork rifle. And it just, this is what happens when you don't even know what to make your game. And it's like you said earlier, it's like everyone's been saying, the core gameplay loop with Anthem is fun, but fundamentally flawed in the sense of it is completely broken. Did I say that? No, not you. Not, but like to say. go, what oh. you were saying was a loot shooter thing. Oh, yeah. The reason why is because, yeah, flying around doing stuff is super cool. Popping off abilities is super cool. The entirety of the game is about popping an ability, watching someone, like, do. that's how you do damage. Yeah. Your guns, the thing that you're fighting for, the thing that you're spending most of your time trying to do, doesn't kill enemies. Yeah. Why would it? I mean, you're a space wizard. Yeah. You're a space robot wizard. Yeah, you, I, can, I can throw electricity with my hands. Why would a no. gun be a fucking... The thing I said that I'll bring up again is who the fuck asked for all these sh looter shooters? I mean, Destiny Where was really popular. Warframe's very popular. They make a lot of money. Warframe is is popular, but like... Warframe makes a lot of money. No, Warframe doesn't. Warframe is on top 10 Steam games all But EA time. isn't looking at Warframe and going, we gotta beat Warframe. No, they're but looking they're at looking at the possibility and the potentiality of having their own triple A Warframe. I think they're saying, what if we have our own destiny? Well, sure. Yeah, sure. So, sure. I'm just wondering who said... what. Where did Destiny say we have to make a loot shooter? That's the market we have to go after. Well, no, they made it. That's why it was Destiny that made it. Yeah, but it came out and no one liked it. No, well, that's the thing. It came out and tons of people liked it. For a bit, and then it, it was Destiny launched and it was bad, wasn't it? Yes, you're right. But guess what? It still was successful. Yikes. Lots of things are successful. It was a 60... I think it was like 67 on Metacritic, and it made gangbuster money. Yeah. Tons of fucking money. Well... And Taken King came out, and guess what? Taken King was good. Yeah. It was very good. That's it, guys. Just shoot for a 67. You'll you'll make you'll make your money. Make the money. Which is what people were doing. You'll and make... now they're starting to realize, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it at all. Yeah. Uh... So, I mean, like in the grand scheme of things, uh, we can go. I can go on for hours as to why Anthem yeah. is bad. I think everyone's gone for hours as to why Anthem is bad, yeah. and it's only getting worse. It is pulling the Fallout seventy six now with these with this. They're every week coming out and saying, "Hey, no, guys. I mean, we know all of this is like not great, but we, we've been super transparent in development." It's like, no, you haven't. My no, favorite you fucking haven't. My favorite was the game came out. And then a week later, when they patched it, they said, hey, guys, thanks for do playing the early access. Now the game's out. Like, you can just release the game on a shelf. And you go to the store and you buy the game. And then you put the game in your system that you paid $60 for at a store off of a shelf. And then you only have to wait a week for the game to come out. Yep. Yep. But then, did, did you really though? Day because one the patch. day one patch is supposed to fix everything, yeah. which it didn't on day eight. Day no, eight, day, that was day, day seven, day negative one patch. Mm. Yeah, no, that wasn't the day one patch. The day one patch came out on day seven. No, but Bioware's fine. Bioware's completely nothing's gonna happen to Bioware. No, hope you got your shit and pants on, Bioware. Yeah, fuck. Like I don't care what anyone Ooh, seals, like. They have been coming out of thirsty. The, Ooh. She's a vampire. <laughs> She's 
this, this silly shit? I is that what you were saying? No, Negan's fat. He's like... I know. That's what Negan says, but yeah, I don't he think also I said, shit pants That's what on. Negan says. That's his... Negan walks up to Kazuya and says... Hope you got your shit pants on, and then hits him with a bat. How can you sit there and look me in the eye, and after you just said those words, and go, Negan's not fun? Negan is fun, but he shouldn't be in Tekken. It's that wasn't weird. what you said before. You said you hated Negan. Yeah, I, I kinda, after that stream, I kind of came around. Yeah, I, I hate that. He, I hate that he's there. God damn it! But I. Don't hate him. I hate when you do this every time. No, I, I tell just, you this things. I said no. He's gonna be fun, and you you just stonewall me yeah, every single time. Not fun enough to justify it. Fuck off. Yes. I just think his personality is fun. His play style is super basic and lame. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll give you that. But like, <laughs> like, but like that. No, I still wish he was in something else. You okay? The tweet that came out that it was like. I can't believe this is 2019 and I'm playing Tekken and it's Noctis versus Negan. Yeah. And it's... <laughs> I hate it. It's dumb. It's the fucking best. It's so good. Noctis is super fun in that game. I love playing as him. I still don't think he should be there. Put Yoda back in Soul Calibur so we can have Yoda Yikes. versus 2B. And Negan should be Geralt. in Soul Calibur. Huh? I said Negan should be in Soul Calibur. Because uh, he got a bat. No. The that's weapon fighter. not... A good enough reason. That's definitely a good enough reason. No. It should be... Um... Geralt makes sense. No, Geralt should still be there. He should right. just have to fight Negan. I don't know. I don't know. I think they care more about... I was going to say they care more about the lore, but Yoda and Darth Vader are there. Never mind. I don't care anymore. I don't know what's to going be on fucking Nampo. Ivy just lives until whatever the <laughs> fuck year near Automata takes place in. Yeah. To fight 2B, who yeah. then has to deal with the realization is like, you, are you, a, are you a people? Are you a fucking cop? Shouldn't you be on the moon? Are you a fucking cop, buddy? Are you a cop? <laughs> are you a cop? Are you a fucking cop? <laughs> um, 9S, it's the 5-0. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, Devil May Cry 5 came out and it's bad. I think it sucks. I think it's awful. I can't believe they even had the audacity to fucking come out with that I wish someone would pull the trigger and fucking end so me. I wouldn't have to play it anymore yeah right yeah I definitely I'm not thinking about how badly I've wanted to play it for the past two hours during yeah. this fucking podcast <laughs> it's really good it's really good oh it's so good oh it's so good so I uh finally was able to get some uh, time to it because as everyone kind of heard last night I did not get any fucking sleep oh it's the other game that I've been playing I rediscovered PSOBB, yeah. P Fantasy Star Online Blue Burst. Mm -hmm. Been playing that with the boys, with the Sunset Boys. That that when I played that, I was like, okay, looter shooters are are there's a reason for them to exist, and it's PSO, and it's PSO one, and I wish they were all PSO. PSO is just so good in how that game makes you feel with progression. With the combat, with just you know uh, how all the different classes help uh, help each other and play into each other. I still don't get it. Is it an action RPG? Like it's an action RPG. Okay. So, but it's an action RPG that had like um not Dark Souls combat. I don't want to call it that, but it's like a little bit more nuanced. You're saying that Dark Souls is a PSO ripoff? Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. Miyazaki's uh, but, like, I'd really like to make another Fantasy Star. Well, online. no. There's okay. There's a heavy attack and a, and a, a light attack and a heavy attack, mm -hmm. and the way it works is that like. Um, it's not tank controls per se. It's not tank controls, but your character has weight to it, like a lot of weight. Uh, and there's a lot of animation priority. Yeah, like the animations, first of all, for a game in 2000 are mm -hmm. fantastic. Like better than a lot of shit that came out later. Like honestly, like if you watch the animations, like the the mocap they did, still fucking yeah. holds up. Like it's really good. But because the mocap has like a lot of, you know, there's a lot of crazy swings and like almost like uh, Monster Hunter motion values and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's it's a lot more like Monster Hunter in the sense of like your moves and your attacks have weight and a lot of like momentum to them. And you could get fucked like if you're not careful. So the, the, the team dynamic is uh, you have your you're a hunter, you have a, a 
you can have like tons of weapons you can switch between on the fly. Uh, you can either have like your single target weapons, like your swords, your daggers, and all sorts of, or you can have like your giant partisans or your heavy blades and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And while you're doing stuff at the front line, your ranger buddies could be like popping like grenade launchers in the back, and then your force guys, which are your wizards, could just be launching spells and healing everybody. Like it's it's just it works so well. And when a rare weapon drops, some rare weapons have unique weapon animations, which makes it way more worth it too, because it's like. Not only am I using like a entirely new weapon type, but it's like I'm doing cooler moves. So it's just oh, it's so fucking cathartic and good, and I right. love it. Let's talk about the game of your life. One second, I I have one question to ask. Sure. Can I have two swords? Yeah, there's. I mean, the daggers are no. Then no. Okay, double may cry. <laughs> All right, it's I don't I don't count daggers. That's why I like Final Fantasy fourteen. Like I would have played Ninja if it had two swords, but it doesn't. It's daggers. That's not the same. Oh no, there's two swords. Yeah, yeah, there's two swords. Dual blading. Yeah. All right, send me the link. I'll download it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm about ten missions into Devil May Cry five, which will be continuing right after this podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, I've played as everybody at this point. Um, I grinded a bit off stream just to get max act with Nero, um, and air hike with all my, all the characters. Um, the game is, is overwhelming, mm -hmm. is massively overwhelming in a, in probably the best way that it can be where it's the rate at which you're getting things is so quickly, like, you are getting two Devil Breakers at a time. Sometimes yeah. three. I didn't know I was going to get Helter Skelter 2 on, on Mission 3. You're going to get to a point where you're like, oh, I still have a couple left to unlock, and then you're just going to get all of them at once. Wow. And you're going to go, oh, I guess this is Nero's kit. Wink. Um, <laughs> it's, it's one of those games where it's like, yeah, I could imagine doing like an entire like playthrough with just these two arms. Or I could imagine playing through all of Bloody Palace using just Balrog and Royal Guard. Balrog, I Balrog made me fall in love with Royal Guard. I now use all styles. And it it's one of those things like you finally feel like you're getting the hang of Nero and you're like, "Okay, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting EX exceed like after every swing it's getting better i have the devil breakers that i like to use unfortunately buster not not what i wanted it to be so i won't be using that <laughs> um and then it gives you v and v you need to completely rewire your brain to play because all of a sudden like you're so used to like getting in close and dodging and things you can't dodge because when you dodge you lose your attacks you lose the one way of doing damage. So you need to stay way far back. But then you also need to close the distance a little bit because your familiars can only go so far. And it's a lot easier once you get more abilities, but when you first switch characters, you don't have access to buy skills right away. Right. You have to wait until you get to the first telephone booth or yeah. um, Goddess of Time. Um And so like V was very... like Immediately I'm like, this character's cool, but there's not enough here yet. And then once I did have the other stuff, I'm like, okay, this character's really cool. I'll never be good with this character. This is the third of the game that I will never master. That makes but, me want to play him even harder. But the other two-thirds, the moment I picked up Dante and I moved my finger along the buttons and switched the weapons, I'm like, oh, no. This is only two of his guns. And there's only two of his melee weapons. And already, I'm like... I don't I don't know what to do. Like, I, I want to hit L2 because I want to use the Exceed, but I can't because that switches my guns. Right. And then you're, you're doing an air combo, and it's like, oh, shit, I'm still in Gunslinger. And so you have to rewire your brain again. Yeah. You are switching back and forth between three different excellent action games in one, uh, like, mission to mission. And it is incredibly overwhelming and kind of stressful. But they're all so good that it's like, okay, you know what? I'll just... I'll, I went into training mode last night 
and I spent a good amount of time with Dante just to figure him out. Spent more time with Nero. I haven't touched V. V is very scary. Uh, I don't. I remember cool. staggering out in my sleep apnea ridden state and kind of looking over and realizing you were in the void, like just staring at the screen with your head in your hands. You're like, oh, there's so much. What about when you left do. for work and I had already gone to Dunkin' Donuts, came back and kept playing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm not sleeping tonight. Fuck it. It's like, oh, man, like Balrog it, it is the best is the best kick weapon. It's the best it's ever been. It's so good that you know that when uh, that period of time where it's like, oh, if somebody makes an action game, Platinum should make it. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Bring your boy at Suno It's out. Suno needs to make every action game to ever come out. Bring your boy at Suno. He's the man. It it's feels so – because, like, Platinum games feel good. They feel good. Mm -hmm. You pick them up, and right away you feel cool. You don't feel cool when you pick up Devil May Cry right away. You won't. <laughs> but learning you. to be cool – in Devil May Cry, way more rewarding, way more fun. So, so the, the the thing I felt was the Artemis fight. So I was just doing Mission 3 on Nero. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mission 3 has a boss fight that has been shown in the trailers where it's that uh, crazy angel thing that shoots lasers everywhere. Yeah. And I, was di I died two or three times to it. And I straight up was like, no, you know what? I'm getting my S. And didn't, I just retried the missions over, over and over again. And what I did was like, okay... I gotta learn how to use punchline. I gotta learn how to use helter skelter. I gotta see what's. And I realized that first and foremost, helter skelter is not great. Drop, see, I disagree. I really like helter Hel skelter for me. I really like helter skelter, especially with the scissor enemies, because they have so much armor. Oh well, scissor enemies—they're super you, fucking you like useful. On charge three shots, shot, shot, shot. They're staggered. Helter skelter breaks the scissor immediately, and yeah. then just exceed, exceed, exceed. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but Done. that Artemis fight was fucking unbelievable because I had a moment where I'm sitting there and uh, she, she, she launches out these uh, like little things that yeah. you kind of yeah you have to shoot them and then you use them to kind of fly. You said you were flying past her. It, I was actually flying like t toward her, like right in front of her. Most it of the would time. it would drag me like almost too far, and I would launch past her when once the once I got to the end of it, and I was like, okay, I still have to like now grapple back to her. And by that point, she's already moving. Like, I don't know. Right. And Maybe I had to release sooner. I, don't. I ended up, like, grinding enough to get an air hike. And it's important that I did that. Because what I did to get to that, that fight, like... I can't imagine that fight without air the hike. Final, the final fucking thing that I did. Uh, I fly in on one of the Artemis uh, hands. Mm -hmm. And I send out Punchline. And I'm just doing shit. And all of a sudden, like, I see she's about to pop a fucking laser thing. I taunt back... Throw much to throw fucking Nero backwards, uh, exceed that, yeah, hold a circle to bring punchline back, ride punchline back around her, j air hike up, uh, air, air hike up, break punchline, shoot her, and then Gerber backwards while I'm still in the air. And I was like, fuck, I've never been harder. <laughs> And and again, I really have to keep driving this home. You only used two of your tools. Yeah. Not your full move list. Yeah. Not even your full exceed meter. Yeah. This game sucks. This wild. This game sucks. This game is so fucking bad. miserable. And then, oh my god, like I V, I I don't playing as him <sighs> is super weird to me. But god damn it, I love that that character. V is so much fun. His taunts are incredible. Mm -hmm. His air taunt is incredible. Uh, not quite Dante's. Dante, uh, have you seen Dante's? It's ecstasy, I thought, right? Uh, what? It's ecstasy? His air taunt is the, is the rose, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, yeah, and it, it fucking launches people yeah. straight up. Mm -hmm. So, God, I love that when I cry. <laughs> I, the only, I, I don't, I, I could talk about it all night, but I don't want to do that because I want to play it. Um, Okay, I think that's it. There's <laughs> one other thing I did, though. Okay, I know we're not doing full three things, but I feel like this is worth mentioning. Okay. I'm in. Oh, he did it. Oh, man. He I, watched Fate. I, I took a day off. Not to, not to watch Fate. I just took a day off for myself. Even a mental health day. Yeah. Um, which I then ruined by watching Fate. Um, <laughs> I watched the original Studio Dean, Fate's Day Night, all 24 episodes in one day. 
I get why people told me to skip it. I'm glad I didn't. But there's certain knowledge <sighs> that once you learn, you can't unlearn. How do you mean? Like... Like, you know, you know when you're like an outsider and you hear something, like if I say saber, you're like, oh, okay, it's the blonde girl with the sword. Mm -hmm. And like, that's as far as that thought goes. Yeah. It's like, for me, it's now like, okay, which one? And then branch off, like, and then the the thought process just branches off. Like, it's, oh, no. it's like, it's like when you, when you don't then know. then there's saber and then there's Nero. It's like when you. And then there's. <laughs> It's like when you don't know about something, and then the moment you hear it, you start to hear it everywhere. Yeah. And you're like, oh, God, now when I hear it, I know what people are talking about. It's like I, I've only seen the, you know, the fate uh, route of right. the original Fate Stay Night, technically. But already I know so much more than I did before. Yeah. That, like, I, when I played the Fate fighting game, I'm like, I don't know who these fucking people are or what their relationships are. And now I'm playing it, it's like, oh, some of these characters are spoilers for routes I haven't seen yet. And, like, well, I don't know. I'm in, I'm in it. He's done it. May, will this replace the sword art shelf? Maybe they can coexist. Who I, knows? I think, don't, I think it's going to coexist. Tip, I think you tip my coffee. Towards the the two hundred dollars saber altar motorcycle statue. All right, all right, everybody listening, everybody in the in the in the chat, in the podcast. If you haven't joined our Discord, join our Discord. Let's do it. Let's watch Fate. Let's get let's get Phil on one anime. Let's get Phil in one anime, on one, just one. If it's uh, gonna be the one, it might as well be Fate. No. Right? Because that's the biggest can of worms you yeah. could possibly open. Right. So let's do it so I never have to do anything else. If I do fate, I never have to do anything again. I could just say I'm a weeaboo. I could just no. bring it back. No, then you're just a degenerate. What's the difference? No. What do you mean, no? Mm -mm. No, you're just a degenerate. What do you mean? What's what anime would I watch that isn't going to make me a degenerate? Really a degenerate? Really? Really a degenerate? Really? I got some real degenerate shit. No, what I'm saying but is, like, what's gonna what what anime? Like, why would it? What's the what's the lo loss here? Because if because watching anime is degenerate shit anyway. Yeah, but it's more varied. Like you have a more complex palette of degeneracy. Whereas if you just watch Fate, then you're just a you're just gotcha. You're trying you're to gotcha sell me. Well, there's different levels of shit that you can ingest. That's true. Right, but I want this shit. Give me you this. Want your, you want your gotcha shit? Okay. I want my gotcha shit. Yeah. So that we can become live streaming FGO pullers. That's right. Phil is going to do the live stream, uh, live streams, and I'm going to do uh, fake grand order streams. Yeah, that's the new. That's the new direction we're taking. After the DMC five playthrough, that's the the 100 just the direction hipsters on purpose is going in. Yeah, because content's hard. And I'm only going to stream the FGO stuff on YouTube. By the way, um, I'm going to need you to get, you know, I'm gonna, can get to get some uh, tomorrow. I'm going to get you some footage from Division Two. I need you to start working on something for me. Is there a script? Yes. Is it recorded? No, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, makes clicking sound with mouth. Okay. That was <laughs> <laughs> ah, hey, guys, we love you. We're going to play some DMC5. Don't move. Don't move too much. Everybody else on the YouTube. Hey, there's something I've, I've been uh, kind of mulling around. I, uh, a lot of people really want me to figure out a way to fucking get this uh, downloadable somewhere. That's not fucking YouTube. One of the biggest reasons that people keep saying... Hey, we love your podcast. We want to listen to some more. First and foremost, have more podcasts. Secondly, put it in a fucking place that we can download it. Like Media Fire? Yeah, like, like mega, we'll, mega no, upload. Well, like somewhere we can listen to the podcast. That's All right, like so you're gonna go. You're gonna want to go to kat.cr. Okay, so while while <laughs> Max completely decides to try to sandbag not only the channel but everything in my life, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at exclusive possible iTunes and other stuff we can look into. I know we have a couple of uh, opportunities to do so, but uh, I know people just really wanted to download uh, MP3s or something of, of some sort to have it just so they can listen to it. I'm pretty excited about doing that. What did you just do? No, I'm keeping my sandbags to myself now. I thought of like 20. Uh, what? 
you get one before you end the podcast. No, there's too many. Like coming exclusively to Frostwire. Not another podcast. Uh, That's what I'm saying. I didn't say they I didn't say they were all good. I just said I had a lot of them. Mm. And I've already forgotten the good one. It's very unfortunate. We're gonna end that on Frost fuck you. Let's play some DMC. All right, guys. Uh go to Oh no! (laughs) 